Krishna. Hare Krishna. Welcome to today's live broadcast from from London. This is a little bit of a brave thing we're doing today. I'm here in Leicester and we are here with Hara. Haribo. Parshram. Parshram Prabhu. They're doing a walk against hunger. Uh, a fundraiser in London to uh, raise uh, money to, for a new kitchen uh, because they have been doing this stuff for so, for so many years. They feed almost 2 million, they serve out 2 million kids to Prashad every year in the UK. So uh, we're so excited to be sharing this. Please, please watch and uh, please, please, please donate if you can. Huh? They She's here. The, they need all the help that they can get. Parshram has given every, his entire life, all of his energy, all of his inheritance, money, everything he owns, he's donated so that he can help feed. She is talking about you. everyone. Okay, uh, can you hear us? Can you hear me? Go for it. <laughs> Hare Krishna Prabhu. Hare Krishna. <laughs> We can't hear him so well. Let's go a little bit closer. Okay, bring it closer. Haribo! 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 How are you? Oh, Let us hear you heard. So, so what are we yes. doing today, Pasha? Oh, what are we doing? We are walking, chanting Hare Krishna. That's what we do. Chant Hare Krishna. And we're walking because we're trying to open a new kitchen. 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 There's a food crisis. People don't have a food crisis. They need lots of prashadam, as you do. She's listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to do with this kitchen? What's the. Oh, we got all the things on prashadam because people need the mercy. They're eating meat, drinking beer. And they need the mercy. And they all like Prashad. Like Katrina, like Samosa, like Katrina, 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 like Lost him. It was cold. We can't hear so well. So you're going to have to go very close to his mouth. There was nine bombs a minute. Nine Harkey. bombs a minute. Prabhu, yeah. can and you the, live? Yeah. Right now, the devotees there, they have no electricity or water. So we have a generator for them. We, we brought them vehicles. We brought them kitchen equipment. We brought them money. And they're doing very nice prashad. There, there's one group distributing in the train station because the people are sleeping underground. There's five train sta tube stations. And then the rest of the devotees are they're distributing in the, uh, out in the open to the the mostly elderly people so they're doing that every day 
And then we're, we're helping the devotees from Mariupol. Mariupol is a city that's disappeared, you know, it's just flattened. So the, the Mariupol devotees went to Ireland. So we bought them a, a mobile kitchen and we were starting a prashad distribution project there. And then uh, last next week, we'll be opening our new kitchen in Liverpool Street in the city. And it's called Love Ukraine. And it's for the Ukrainian devotees who come here to get a prashad distribution project going. So that's what we've been doing. We went three times to Ukraine and different team members went. And I took my friends from the French bank and they were collecting, they had three vans, the French bank, and they were collecting people across the border. You know, we were getting people um, into safety. That's wonderful. How, how, how is it going to affect you, this new, um, you know, you're saying cost of living crisis and, the, and the, <laughs> how are you going to afford the Prashan? Well, like, like friends, two million plates a, a year. A few, a few, a few months ago, a drum of oil was seventeen pound. Now it's over thirty pound. So everything's gone up very much in price, and people can't afford stuff. And actually, there's a lot of people going hungry, and there's a lot of people that winter's coming. They definitely won't be able to heat their house. That's our question. They'll be lucky if they can feed themselves. And and we've just gone through the city, and, and like about. About one third of the buildings are closed down. They don't mention this on, on the news. Wow. But the buildings are closed, the business has gone under. And there's all these empty buildings everywhere. So I got one of the buildings, I got two two cafes. So I've opened up two cafes. And I got the Allied Irish Bank. I have my own bank. I think everybody should have their own bank. I have a big building. It's, it's the Allied Irish Bank. Because, and we were interviewed by the newspapers, by the television last week. There's a program called. I should take this off. There's a program. We're all listening to it over there. That's so much better. Thank you. <laughs> there's, a, there's a TV show called uh, Good Morning Britain. And um, one of the bankers from the Bank of England, my neighbor, he gave himself 17 million bonus. So they got me out there to say, hey, look at the food bank next door. I'm wondering why you got a 17 million pound bonus. So all this is going on. <laughs> But, but this is just so wonderful. You have such an amazing attraction, attractive power, Para. How do you get so many people together? You, you've got so many people walking with you today on this well, not, against I'm hunger. Just, I'm a small fish here. I'm just, uh, I'm just here with everybody, you know. But, but you know, um, it's funny because uh, um, we're going back to Brindavan on the 7th of October. We're, we're doing our Raj Mandel Parakrama, our Chirasi wow. Kota. Because I, I always remember I was in a place called the Kadam Kandy outside Kamyavan, and it was about three o'clock in the morning, it was still dark, and I bumped into your brother in the middle of the forest. <laughs> I bumped into Nandu in the middle. Nandu, of the my brother Nandu lives in Vrindavan. And, and if, for those that don't know, Parashuram goes to Vrindavan almost every year and he does Padiatra, Parikrama, all, ar all around Braj with the bullock carts, and he gives out prashad to all the villagers and just he has a merry time, sings to them, as you can tell. Parashuram Prabhu sings any chance he gets, all day, <laughs> all the time. All yeah, no, no, no. This, is, this is going to be our, our, our 34th time around. So, so we, 34th Rajmandal yeah. Parikrama. That's where his heart is. is. He lives in London, but his heart is in Vrindavan. <laughs> Oh, we're, we're, we have to we have to have the, our heart in Vrindavan because that's where it's at. <laughs> so please tell everyone what you need from them, Para. Huh? What, what do, you do you need need from people? What do you what, well, what actually, you well, do? Well, since, well, since you're out there, if there's any businessmen who have buildings that are, that are not using, uh, what happens if they give to a charity? They save eighty percent on business rates, and it's in their interest. And then I turn those buildings into uh, places for Ukrainian refugees because they've nowhere to live. So, um, so, so if anybody happens to be a businessman uh, with business in London, well, please contact us. You know, they might know some buildings that are vacant, like, like St. Paul's Cathedral. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so that's that was a Buckingham also, Palace. <laughs> also, you know, actually funny thing, because um, you're in India, the company Tata, Tata is a, as you know, they make everything from cars to to cooking salt. <laughs> they get Tata cooking salt. 
Yeah. So, so last week, 35 of their staff came to volunteer chopping vegetables. Wow. And they're moving into a new office right by Liverpool Street. So it's, um, uh, we're going to see if we can work together. Tata have taken over Range Rover, Land Rover and Jaguar. <laughs> and, and, uh, and we're taking over with Prashad distribution because everybody wants Jai. and pakoras and puris. Kitchis, oh, pakoras and puris. Absolutely wonderful. Kishori. Anyone is listening? Some, yes. Some log jana. Some log jana. Some log jana. Yes. Time is coming. Time is coming. Time is coming. Time is coming. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Well, anyone who's listening, uh, Para won't, won't ask for it because he's just so wonderful. We need money. We need, we need to donate. This is the link down here, justgiving.com. The campaign is Walk Against Hunger 2022. Please, even if it's five, ten pounds, please help out. Uh, they need a new kitchen, a permanent kitchen. They've, they've had so many different locations. Oh, and it's very difficult for them. It becomes very difficult for them to be sustainable. But uh, they need a permanent place. And of course, if you have any buildings in London that are empty, like you said, please get in touch with Food for All. They'll make it into refugee accommodation for, for um, the. Ukraine. We're just going to have a quick look around. Uh, no, that's the one. We are leaving now. That was that. Thank you all so much for uh, watching. It was a bit chaotic. We tried. Uh, it was a bit of an ambitious uh, task here to go live in London while I'm here. But I, I urge you, please share this, um, the link uh, with any friends that you have. This is a, a really dire time right now. The cost of living in England, as we all know, is, is skyrocketing. So there's a lot, of, lot more homeless people. People don't actually have a place to live. Uh, we don't get to see it. And maybe the news doesn't really share it so much. But um, Parshram is out there every day and his team. And they're just uh, trying their best to feed everyone and shelter everyone. This is uh, the real meaning of service. You know, serving Krishna means you serve everyone. Um, so my humble request is that if you have even ten pounds to spare, you know, uh, please do, please give to this campaign. Hare Krishna to you all. Hope you're all having a great week. And of course, this is Pitru Paksh. Tomorrow is uh, Sarva Pitru Amavasya. Great, great um, cause. Great time to donate on behalf of all of our Pitrus. Um, nothing better than feeding uh, the hungry and donating to Vaishnavas who are giving their life uh, for this kind of wonderful service. So thank you. Hare Krishna.